Hey, what's up, stars? Today we're gonna try something new. We are playing Roblox. Roblox, like I mentioned in uh, in real life, the vlog episode one, is one of the games I play with my little one, so that I can spend some time and I can learn a few things about what she's into. Uh, this game is called Bloxburg. Bloxburg is a town they made up where you are able to simulate life, almost like Sims. Uh, yeah, almost like Sims. Now, everything is customizable in Bloxburg. And again, Roblox is pretty much a collection of games that they play. You now you can uh, do a little more if you have some money invested into the game. A couple dollars will get you a couple hundred Robux and you can buy things. For instance, I'm at a convenience store right now with my little one and I got some coffee. For those who watch the channel, I do some videos called Coffee Time. So of course I got some coffee. Uh, I would say this is probably a classic roast since this is a gas station and that's what they usually have or they have like a WB or something like that, something to that effect. Anyway, she's doing some shopping and I like that uh, as we were shopping, I got chips and I got coffee. And she told me that um, I need to be more healthy and you can see they had fruits and vegetables in the store. Anyway, she's the one driving and sometimes when we play, she has to actually physically lift my character up and put me in position to do things because I'm not that good at it, but uh, she is. She's very good at it. So. Here we are interacting with um, the computer-based uh, cashier and buying different things. I believe if you make one of these games, you get a piece of that money that people spend within the game. So for all you uh, budding content creators, probably a video on how to build in Roblox would be a good thing to do, uh, especially if you play the game. Now here she is putting me in the car and we are off. Now I've played this game before with her and she showed me different things. Uh, one of those things was how to build homes. So I think we're gonna get to that in a little bit. But uh, I had already knew how to do that because I was able to um, leverage some of the skills that I had on other games in the past and everything. It's a pretty uh, intuitive system, so. It's a lot with these games. Like I said, they because they are so submersive, you get different elements of different games you've played over the years. Um, some mobile gaming, some, uh, some of our old school games. Here we are at a campsite. Now this game in particular, Bloxburg, is a whole township, almost like a community. So there's different elements there. We're at the park now. Uh, look at her parking that car like a champ. We're running off to go enjoy our snacks outside. And they let you eat on this game, which is wild because you're sitting there eating chips and everything. And you don't uh, gain any weight. You don't get sick. You don't get unhealthy. So that's something else. But this game does uh, take into account that your character is pretty much running around on simulated time. So as you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen, it tells you what day and what time it is. Uh, if you go for a while, your character will stink or your character will get hungry or your character will need exercise, things of that nature. So it pretty much tries to incorporate as much real life as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and move forward in the game. Okay, so now we're at my house and I played this game before with my little one, so this was the perfect one to start with. As you can see, when I came into the game, because I haven't played in a while, my character was smelly because he hadn't taken a shower in a while, and I needed to use some coins to boost my mood. The mood is how, I guess, the game is structured around. Uh, you can exercise, you can eat, you can, you might 
have to go to school or you might have to do certain chores or go to work to earn a living. And you can do that by walking into any of the shops and going into the areas where the workers are. Right now I'm at my house and I'm waiting for my daughter to show up. Um, I, like I said, I played this game before, so I was able to build the house. And much like other games in the past, you build the house based on a grid system. Uh, you got to put in the support beams, the flooring, everything from the lights to the wall sockets. Uh, add phones, add furniture to steps windows and it's completely customizable they got a extensive list of options i created this theater room by buying the biggest tv i could find and then extending it uh i put in regular couches on a floor that's based on a platform floor so that it would resemble a theater room even added the popcorn and the mood lighting so that you can sit back and watch. And today, I believe that's Gordon Bloxy. Uh, obviously, off of the uh, famous chef, Gordon Ramsay. But um, I like watching these little things for five or six minutes just to um, feel like I'm actually doing something in this unique world. All right, so let's skip around a bit. I'm in the kitchen now, and as you can see, I put a hood over my stove top and everything, and just like in real life, if I'm in the kitchen, my kid comes in the kitchen because that means food is lurking. And um, I ordered a pizza, I put it on the table, you can come and you can pick up a slice, you can do whatever you need to do. Uh, the refrigerator is fully stocked, we showed you the uh, mini mart before well those items end up in your refrigerator you can go in there and you can pull out things you can make a meal you can take out uh, the different things you need to prep a meal you can take something quick out of the refrigerator um, when you take out ingredients to make something then you are able to go over to the stove and actually put together the things and it's almost like a mini game where you do the certain actions and things and it will create the food that you are trying to prepare then you can enjoy it. I got a dining room table there so where we can go and sit down and eat and things of that nature. This is like playing house on a whole other level. Um, at this point, I'm walking around my house just kind of showing you guys a little bit of what's going on. Here's my gym. If you watch in real life my vlog, um, you'll see that that's a part of my daily life. Now, I don't have a setup like this at all, but I do have weights and different things to work out. So in the game, of course, I represented that and I have my little gym here. Um, it's important to note that I'm not as good as my daughter is on here. So a lot of times you'll see her just grab me up and take me where we need to go. That's why she was driving earlier. I can't for the life of me make that thing drive straight. And I know this is a game, but I certainly admire those who can do that stuff. They make it look so effortless and I'm not that good yet, but I'm hanging in there. I'm trying, you see, I built this estate, so I gotta be doing something right at some point. All right, just to show you guys, we're back on the road again and we're gonna visit somebody else's creation. This person, much more creative than I, replicated a Starbucks where they have built a cafe they put the Starbucks logo on there, and now we're entering their establishment. On the game, they can trade. So if they trade six robe bucks, the currency in the game for a cup of coffee, which they'll make in their little kitchen, and then trade your person so that now you have the coffee, they have the six bucks. Um, I'm not good with the chatting. I, don't, I can't do that and do the phone thing. Uh, I'm a little bit behind, but my daughter is great at it, so. As you can see, um, you enter this world and everybody else does. So you get the benefits of their creations as well, especially if they open them to you. Now, if you didn't want to, you could lock your creations down to friends or lock it for everybody and nobody can come in there. Nobody will steal your ideas. I'm sitting in a car now because I couldn't figure it out. And uh, she went to go get me some coffee this time. As you know, I have a... Uh, blog called coffee break where i talk about different subjects and just kind of waste some time with you guys so if you are inclined go ahead and check it out all right one last look at the creative creativity in this game i was able to build this deck that overlooks my backyard and 
I even threw in some smaller houses back there for my cutie squad. That's my girls. Um, we run together when we play the game together, so that's the cutie squad. My little one, my big one, and myself, and then certainly any of their friends and little cousins that play the game. So if you see the tag cutie squad on us, go ahead and add us on Roblox, and we'll be sure to add you, and we can all have a great time together. Mention you saw uh, Bloxburg on the channel, and maybe we'll uh, pull out a special prize or something. But as I go to bed on the game, I'm going to, just to show you some contrast, we're going to take a look at another game. All right, so we're back. And just for contrast, I wanted to show you guys something else. So what I did was we put on a game called Spotify Island. Now, this is done by, I believe, the folks who made Spotify. And uh, it's a parkour game where you do a lot of jumping around and flipping. And based on how well you're doing, you get achievements. Uh, what that exactly means, I don't know, because this was new to me. But it's so cool, the uh, graphics and how much detail they put into everything they did. Here I am sliding on a what I believe is a musical note. Uh, all of these different elements within the game do something. And of course, I, you can, as you notice, I got the same avatar. Once you build your avatar, you take that person wherever you go. There's hundreds of games on this thing. So uh, when they ask you for money to buy clothes for robot blocks, um, know that you're getting your bang for your buck. And you might not want to do too much, but they do have subscriptions and things of that nature where it's just a couple dollars and they get just enough to do these little customizations and things. And you don't have to necessarily spend money to play these games. Now, some some of them are get a bit pricey where they ask for things in the cash to uh, Robux ratio is uh, a little bit steep if you want to uh, take part in all of the uh, all of the added fe added features of the game. But uh, on a zero budget, you could have a good time playing these games. You get amass points. It might take them a little bit longer to get everything, but it can be done on most of these games or so far the ones i've seen and like i said you get to use that stuff that they put together their own person and own personality with the roblox avatar that they get to carry on throughout the game so if you see <laughs> i'm literally exploring the whole world on this one uh, music note vine thing so uh this is again called uh Spotify Island. It's a pretty much run, jump, skip, play. So have a good time with that. Check it out. It's worth checking out. I don't know about replay value. Uh, I really couldn't figure out the algorithm and how to amass points and things of that nature and w what that means. Uh, you get achievements all day. If it doesn't mean anything, it's, you're probably not going to pursue them. You're just going to explore. And the game is worth checking out just for the ex exploration. Like, they put a lot of detail into these things. And kids are doing things. Eventually, they start trying to make their own clothes. They start um, communicating with other folks and trading and learning the value of money and things of that nature. So, And hand-eye coordination, I guess. So there are some redeeming values. You, you definitely want to limit the play time or... You want them to try to do other things or get them some educational games as well and really monitor what they're doing. I, I always check in so that um, I know there's no funny business and she knows not to engage in people in any disrespectful way or um, put up with any of that. You block people automatically so that when you go to play the game, perhaps they'll put you in a different server or whatever they do. Uh, so let me just um, wrap this thing up as we're going a little bit long, but... Bloxburg was a great game. Um, I still play it with my little one to this day. Uh, she shows me different things, but we always come back for that because that's something I can get into. And I have stuff invested with uh, building the house and different things and having a good time. Uh, I even put in an office in there so that we could uh, work. Air quotes. It's a lot of fun. Uh, between a one through five, five being the highest, 
I put Bloxburg at the top of my list. And I've seen other games on here, so I'm in a unique position. But you guys check it out. Let me know if it's a five or not. Um, this, um, as long as we're here, I didn't get the hang of this game yet. And I've only seen it the one time. But Spotify Island, graphics alone, it's a five. As far as gameplay, it was easy to do and it was a lot of fun um, exploring the island and kind of jumping around and acting a fool. So uh, I give that at least a four. If I knew what I was doing, I would give it a five. And there weren't too many people in there, so I wasn't able to just watch somebody and kind of mimic their moves. But I did play at a very early hour, so perhaps all of the kids that usually play this were at school. Uh, she had a good time. I know she went back. So take that for what it is. I had a good time. Hope you do too. Uh, join us next time where we'll look at a few different games and um, see what we see. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and let us know what games you want to see.